Hi, my name is Alan Rogers of Customology and in this short video we're going to give you a little guide as a business owner to how you can see for yourself and find out whether a mobile website is the right thing for your business at this time. You've probably heard and come across even for yourself mobile websites as you've been scrolling through the internet on your mobile phone and there's people like me saying that you know you need to be able to have a mobile website so that you give the best experience for uh, the increasing amount of visitors that are coming to you now uh, on the internet for your mobile, uh, mobile phones. But how do you know for yourself whether it's the right thing for your business at this time? Well we're going to go across to a piece of free software which is called Google Analytics. Now you may know if this is installed on your website or not. Uh, if not, get hold of your regular website designer because it probably is. It's almost default that this free bit of software is, is um, added to a website whenever it's created. And if you say if you don't have access yourself, then just get hold of your website designer and ask him for the facts. Now there's a lot of information on here, but we're just going to look at one particular piece which is from the main home page at the moment and this is a screenshot of a, um, a business a local business that asked me to have a look at their Google Analytics figure in the summer of um, 2014 as I'm recording this and these are their August figures now you'll see on here that um, there's actually a large number of businesses here uh, of visits rather they are a um, physiotherapy company in London uh, in the UK uh, but they do do a lot of AdWords as well and obviously they want to make sure that they're getting the best value for money from there so what this figure shows you is how many sessions so how many times that people visited um, the website over the month of August uh, the amount of new sessions uh, new users so this means that uh, if the business owner went on there more than once they would only count as once or, or anybody um, so it kind of dif it differentiates that differentiates um, that the bounce rate what this means is um, it's the number of people that never get past the home the, the home page or the first page so if they come to the home page or any page that they land on I don't go any further they bounce out the site and here obviously the page sessions that's the amount of sessions per pages per session and on here the amount the average duration in seconds minutes and seconds per visit and what you will see on here straight away is the large number of mobile mobile um, um, penetration on here uh, you're looking at 50 percent now I haven't just shown this because it's a large uh, figure 50% uh, is a fairly common figure these days for uh, mobile visitors um, it's just that I have this this information before a mobile website has been put onto the mobile site and um, a desktop is 30% and about 17% for tablets so you'll see here that's a very large percentage you'll also notice that the bounce rate that is the, the number of people that aren't clicking any any further than the first page is 90% nearly 91% so only 9% are actually going further into the website after coming onto the onto it on a mobile phone and going any further and that the average time is 18 seconds, just 18 seconds on the site. Whereas for the other larger screen devices where people are getting a better experience, uh, you know, it's over one minute, one minute 15, one twenty. So if you have figures a little bit like this, i.e., you know, you have quite a large percentage of your of your visitors are coming from mobile, um, but the bounce rates are very high and um, you know, the, the average session duration is very low then this is a good sign that the visitor is coming on from a mobile device um, that they're finding it very difficult and tricky to navigate their way around and so they're clicking away very 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 quickly and you know obviously not finding the information that you want them to find and the information they came there for in the first place so hopefully that'll help you to go into your Google Analytics, look for these kind of figures which are just found down the left hand side of Google Analytics under mobile and then overview and you can find these and you can kind of make that decision for yourself. If you'd like any help with either understanding or interpreting your Google Analytics figures then please do get in touch and I'd be very happy to help where I can. And also if you want to know more about mobile websites, how they look and function and what it could do for your business then check out my website particularly under the custom mobile section here where you'll find some pages within. Uh, this is the mobile portfolio page where you can click on these and get a much better experience of how they look before, how they look now and try and test it for yourself. That's it, so thank you very much for watching and listening, and if there's anything I can do to help, then please do get in touch. All the best, and take care now. Bye.